Hi, I'm Chris from Corona Tools and this is Shannon from Proven Winners Color Choice Shrubs and today we are going to talk about the essential tools you need for starting your first garden. Now there are a lot of people who are starting out right now with their first gardens and it can be a little overwhelming to figure out what tools you actually need. I know when I'm looking even as a seasoned gardener I still can get overwhelmed so we're here to simplify it and give you our top picks and luckily Chris is kind of a tool expert so that's that's me <laughs> so i would absolutely say man when you're getting out of the garden there's like just a few activities that you're always going to be doing. planting maintaining cutting weeding those kinds of things and there's seven essential tools that i think every gardener should have in their tool shed one of those being a hand pruner what up? what do you look for in a general purpose pair of hand pruners okay the majority of the things that people are cutting is fresh stems and it's, it's mm -hmm. not deadwood, a bypass pruner is like your number one essential go-to. And that is, the, the tool is known for being a bypass. It's like scissor cutting action. So that's so what you're looking for. bypass means it, they're passing each other. The blade like scissors. bypasses the hook here. So okay. that, that's, it's like a pair of scissors. So this is a number one tool that you gotta have because you're always cutting things out in the garden. So this is for smaller branches, fresh wood and whatnot. What would you need for a larger branch? Absolutely. So. My go-to for that would be the lopper. And the reason it's called a lopper is because it lops off branches and it, like this, this tool will cut one and three quarter inch branch. That's a pretty large branch. That is thick. And you definitely need that. One thing I like about these is that if it's too high, you don't have to run back to the garage. So these are all little features that you can look for when it comes to a lopper, but just a lopper in and of itself helps you get up there cut the branch and you're good And then to watch go. out so it doesn't fall and on your head. Watch out, yeah. So, <laughs> And then the next thing is if the branch is even bigger than that, your trusty folded saw. This is a must. Every gardener kind of needs one of these. It has a, this cuts on the pool. So if you're cutting a larger branch, I mean this three inches, four inches, you just put it in the, cut, cut the branch and just start cutting back. You'll be through that branch in no time. So this is a must have. That's a nice little safety feature. Yes. It made oh. me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? That uh, that blade completely closes in the handle, so you you don't know, you don't cut yourself while you're trying to put it in your pocket. Now, before you are maintaining your plants, you need to plant Absolutely. said plants. So what would you recommend looking for in a general purpose shovel? Yeah, you're going to need a good shovel, and it depends on how hard your ground is. You definitely want to take a look at the thickness of a shovel. This is a fantastic shovel. This is a 14 gauge shovel, and that means that the steel is pretty thick and it's not going to buckle if you're trying to, you know, do any heavy duty prying. Like a nice, good solid wood handle, and that's just going to, this is going to last you for a really long time. And I would say definitely buy a good shovel because I have broken them before. <laughs> definitely. And so. It is wood, so you don't want to leave it outside. You want to take care of it, but we'll have that in another video. If you're not planting a large shrub, um, something smaller like your annuals or uh, a quart size shrub, you might need something smaller like Container, a tool. everything. I mean, this is just, these are so essential. I think most gardeners probably have about two to three of these. Yeah. One's in the garden when the tools shed, they're always taking one out, probably leaving it in the garden. This is such an essential tool because you need to, uh, you know, whether you're digging in a container or planting in a bed, a trowel is something that is definitely a must have. Now, what about a rake? Everyone's familiar with a rake. Why do you need it for a garden? You gotta have it because if you're out trimming your plants or whatever, and it's like it, you know, you've got all your cuttings on the ground, you want something that's gonna collect it very easily. Plus fall comes around, you wanna rake up those leaves, put them in, into, your, uh, into your beds or into your uh, compost bin. It's a, a rake is an essential thing, gotta have that. My favorite new tool that I've discovered in the last year or two is a hori hori knife or a soil knife. Um, and for me, it's the it does it all tool. So can you walk us through what this amazing thing is? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, like you said, it is a multi-purpose tool. So anything from when you just take the plants out of the containers, it's got this serrated edge on there that's going to be able to slice through roots to get it ready for planting. Mm -hmm. It's got a depth gauge on it so that you're able to see how deep you're planting your plants. Uh, you got the ability to, if you're 
doing container gardening. It's got a little notch on here where you can literally slice open the, uh, the, the soil bag so that you're not trying to fumble for something to try and cut into that. But you can divide perennials. And what I love about this, if you're out planting bulbs, it's got this nice wide flange on there so it's gonna protect your hand. When you jam it into the ground and psh, rip back the soil, you can plant all your your new annuals every year and it's just there mm -hmm. are so many things that you can do with this tool i absolutely love it. i use it for everything it's my favorite all of these tools have links in the descriptions below but if you have more questions about any of your gardening needs or tools you can find us at provenwintercolorchoice.com and you can find us at coronatoolsusa.com